Oh my goodness. Okay, so excuse our mess, but there's two monarchs over here. Oh my goodness. Okay, I just love them. You don't hardly see them anymore. Oh, what a rare treat. Two of them. Spooky, no. Spooky, go on. Kitty. No. Oh my gosh, it's gorgeous. <laughs> He's flying all around me. Oh. Oh my gosh. Okay. I am very excited because you don't see these anymore. This is the first time I've seen them and they're in they're in their migration process. Let me see how close I can get. Oh, they are just so beautiful. This one's got its wings shut. Spooky, get out of here. Kitty! Kitty, go on. Come on. No, you're going to mess it up. Spooky! Kitty! Oh, kitty. I do not want that cat messing with this. Look how pretty. Oh my gosh. It's so sad that these are on the endangered list and that so many of them are dying. It really makes me sick. When I was a little girl, they were everywhere. Oh my goodness. Guys, isn't that just absolutely gorgeous? How do we not want to protect that? This pollinates your food. Such a beautiful pollinator. Oh, I am so thankful I have a GoPro and I'm able to do this. I'm watching for snakes. I do have my rain boots on because it's raining. Okay, that's my stomach growling because I need some lunch. But this is more important. Oh my gosh, I am just in awe of these beautiful creatures. I wonder what it's going to be like in the next 10 years. Are they going to be extinct in the next three? The way the world's going and all the roundup that's being sprayed. <laughs> Makes me sick. Spooky, you need to leave. Oh, you scared it. Spooky. Kitty's over here. My animals follow me everywhere. They don't mean any harm. They're just curious. But when you're trying to capture something like this, not where you want to see them. Ah. Uh. This just makes my day. So I did tell you guys that you can take these. This actually was an asparagus um, garden and parsley. And then everything just kind of took over. I didn't really take care of it for a couple years because I was so sick. And now the weeds have taken over, but I left these because I knew that they feed the monarchs. And look, here they are. Spooky, no, no kitty, you just scared it. Kitty, no honey. So just so you know, if you wanna do some conservation, these seed heads, you pull them off, put them in a bag, Put them in your freezer. It's coming back. Come on, Spooky. Spooky, come on. Kitty, let's go. Oh my gosh. It's going over to my zinnias, or over here. Thanks to the kitty cat. See it? Oh, come back. On it. Let's see how many are on the zinnias. 
that was full and then the turkeys got in there and roughed so I had to put the wiring over I'll have to put some wire around it next year maybe move it into the garden boy this is just a mess next year this is going to be full of the echinacea and the zinnias now they will lay their eggs on the milkweed. That's why I went ahead and left that milkweed. And the uh, dill, fennel, things like that. But in all honesty, I saw no caterpillars this year. It's really heartbreaking. It really upsets me. Let's go back over here. Wished I would have put the cat in the house. Kitty, you're messing up my video. No, you go on. Let's see if it come back. Not they could be in the back of the garden. Oh, I don't see them. I don't see them at all. Dang it. And see right there, I don't know if you can see it. Maybe it'll move when I get up close. See the lace wing? See that lace wing right there? That is up close personal with the lace wing. Those are what I try to have all over the farm too. They are so beneficial. <laughs> it's probably not liking me. And there's a giant bumblebee, which when I was taking pictures with my phone, I got a shot with the monarch and the big bumblebee in one frame. I was so tickled because you just don't see that anymore. It's really sad. So anyway, just pop off these seed heads. Get you a big old planter and plant these. Plant them in the spring. Really wanting to film them, but the kitty cat. Oh my goodness. Little turkey. Not real happy with him right now. Let's go see if they're up here in the garden. They're in their migration right now. Here comes the sun. Our weather is so bipolar. Cold, hot, rainy, flooding, drought. We're going to get an early freeze this year. Ooh, something just hit the fence. Oop. They love the marigolds as well. So I did put a whole bunch of these in the garden. See if there's some monarchs in here. I sure hope so. I feel like I better capture them before they're all gone. You know, film them. <laughs> 